Bullet Train wants you to believe it's a higher class film than it actually is. There are big Japanese graphics that leap out at you. There's a cast of quirky characters just ready to do strange things. And there's a convoluted plot that screams Quentin Tarantino. Aside from Brad Pitt, little of this has anything to do with Tarantino. Pitt plays a hired killer who believes his luck has run out. He's replacing another agent and he's assigned to take out folks on a high-speed train in Japan. There, while the vehicle is zipping from city to city, he encounters other odd assassins who have their own agendas. Now, because there are so many of them, it's hard to get a handle on whom we should follow. Some disappear quickly, others return to life repeatedly. While Pitt is more active here than he has been in other recent films, he's constantly dodging bullets or fighting newcomers. Among the throng, and yes, it is a throng, are two British killers who help with the comedy. Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry, especially Henry, know where to find the laughs. They weave in and out of Pitt's life while he takes on an odd mix of international performers. Much of Bullet Train, in fact, looks like it was designed to open big in Asian and European markets. One by one, the passengers get involved in elaborate stunts, which, considering director David Leach was a former stuntman, accomplished much in confined spaces. Pitt does nicely, considering he's not trying for Tom Cruise's crown, and he looks like he's having a little fun here. Still, there are too many characters to consider to really let the plot roll. Pitt frequently takes orders from a handler, played by Sandra Bullock, who literally phones it in. When the herd gets called, another villain pops up and we're back at the beginning, wondering if this will ever end. It features too many flashbacks, too many life-saving surprises, and a high-tech Japanese toilet. Because other better films have taken place on moving trains, it's likely Leach was going for quantity, not quality. Bullet Train doesn't quite make the cut, but at least its cars run on time. With your Movies in a Minute, I'm Bruce Miller.